Hi guys, Beth here. So today is a collaboration with the Faithful Fab group. Um, I'll have everybody linked down below, but we're doing a makeup look from the year 2000 or Y2K. Um, I didn't wear a lot of makeup. So at that time in my life, I think I had just finished college at the community college and I was working as a phone I guess old phones for Sprint. Um, I'd go stand in like Circuit City and Good Guys and Best Buy and Kmart and sell cell phones. But anyway, um, I did work at Robinson's May and then, and I met someone that was doing that and that's how I got into that job. And so I was like a, called a weekend warrior and I'd go out and try to promote Sprint PCS cell phones. And I love Sprint. Um, unfortunately, they're T-Mobile now and my carrier is T-Mobile, but let's get into this look. So it's mostly like light color pastels and then shimmer like all over the body and things like that. So I haven't done my face makeup yet. I thought I'd do it right here on camera and let's get into it. I forgot my primer. Let me grab that. Okay, so I did find some makeup that I may have had uh, or my mom had like in the two, year 2000 and i have that i think i might use it today i want to do like a green look i am wearing a green dress and i did wear actually the vby or vbt sorry not vby vbt tapes today um yeah you can't see no bra a little bit of back fat but um that is it and i'm wearing the green dress from my haul so far i mean i feel like it's comfortable i'm gonna go out to the movies and watch the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle with my Turtles movie with my kids and my husband. Hence the green. I thought it were green today because turtles are green. <laughs> I think they're green. The green one. I think they're Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are green. But that's my Ulta primer. I just kind of put it on my bigger pores, um, on my nose. And then I have this. It was in my Fifty Shades of Green last year. It's an Arabon CC cream. And this is pretty like moisturizing. My niece gave it to me. She sells Arabon. And I guess it was too too creamy or too uh, moist for her. Moist. Um, I don't know. It's just too, I guess, too moisturizing on her face. Let me see. I don't, let's use a brush because I don't have a sponge ready. I don't want to get up again. I'm just gonna kind of rub it in my face. I don't normally use a brush because I can see brush strokes and it drives me nuts. So I like using a sponge instead. And then I hate getting a brush dirty for foundation. I don't know why. But yeah, my mom watched that last video and she's like, you said you would try on the tape. I'm like, I didn't say I'd try it on. I said I'd put it on and show you guys how it looks, you know? <laughs> my mom was like trying to make me, hold me to my word as it was what she she's doing. But anyway, so I did put it on today. I'm gonna wear them out today. Um, for eyebrows, I think the eyebrows were still pretty thin. I got this in Hawaii. It's the Jasmine LaBelle Brow Powder. And I went to Hawaii, I forgot a lot of things. And brow stuff was one of them. Um, a brow powder was one of them. So I think my daughter like wanted me to go in with, to the darker one. What was there? I'm not going to do too much to them. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of concealer. I have like pretty big bags. I was dreaming a lot last night. Couldn't sleep. I put a face mask on earlier to try to like get some moisture into my skin. I'm just going to use my finger for this. That's the... This one I really like. It's the Ardell Photo Face Concealer. I found it at the Dollar Tree. It actually is so nice. It goes on so creamy and it has great coverage. 
Okay, so I you can still see my bag, but if I look up, you can't. <laughs> there we go. And then eyeshadow. I brought this out. I don't. I didn't bring a eyeshadow primer, but I do have this stick. This it's a Beauty Basics in Sahara Gold. I got this in Ipsy like a really long time ago. It's in a project right now, but I'm gonna use it for my base. So there's the base. Okay, I brought some brushes. Let's get into the eyeshadow. Okay, this isn't pre thought out real well. So I have these stackables. This is what I was talking about. My mom had these in the bathroom at our house. And I would use them sometimes. So I'm gonna go in with this green shade, I think down here. I also brought out my Nomad palette. It's the... Um, Porentia Paradise Porentia I'm not sure how you say that this is the palette oh Polynesian uh, Polynesian Paradise I guess I'm handwriting no it says something else on the front it doesn't say Polynesian but I brought out this one as well and I don't see anything like pastel like kind of green but maybe I'll go into Bora Bora it's kind of like a purpley shimmer and then I'll bring in the green because this will look kind of like uh, a brow bow a highlight I guess I don't think I want to put it all over my lid so I'm gonna use it in the crease Here's one a sticker. Yeah, it's the truecolors.com is the website. I think it's just called True Colors. So I'm gonna go into this green kind of color down here. And I do, I do remember using this green um, back in the day. Oh, I'm doing it upside down. Oh no. Oh, that's a mess. Okay, let me flip it back. Wrong side, Beth it down it's all over my hands now okay so my mom had like these in her bathroom and I would just like go in and use them whenever I wanted to wear makeup I didn't buy my own makeup I was just like not really I just it was just too expensive even nowadays it's so expensive I bought some Alme for my sister the other day because she was like I want some makeup and I, and I don't know if you know, but my sister has like mental health issues. So she like, I don't know if she still has all her old makeup or not. When we were growing up, she had like, to me a lot, but it was only like a bag really. One little makeup bag full of makeup. No, I'm the one with like way too much makeup. You have to tap this off a lot. It's like a matte, kind of like mint green color. I think this was what I would use are these top ones because they're very highlighty. Yeah, I think I did use this pink a lot and this purple. <laughs> That's right here. You guys can kind of see. I feel like those are the ones I used in my mom's house. So I'd use her top ones. There's also oh, a pink one over here. Maybe it was one of these. Let's use the orangey one. The sher it looks like kind of like a sherbet shimmer. Yeah, shimmery. Okay, because a lot of them are matte. And I'm gonna go in with this pencil brush. It looks like I used it though. It's something on the tip. 
brush. I think it's just stained from something I used. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go into the inner corner. Okay, and then I'm gonna do my eyeliner. I feel like this calls for a brown eyeliner because uh, it's so pastel. However, I think in the 2000s, everybody just wore like black eyeliner. So I'm gonna go into my Il Masca or Il Maquillage. Yeah, Il Maquillage eyeliner. Because this isn't a project, I'm trying to use it up. Okay, so this is the eye look. Now for lips, um, I do want to do blush. I, I didn't see anything about blush, but I've been using this e.l.f. blush. It is the shade Berry Mary, and I love it. It's such a pretty mauve kind of blush. I'm just gonna put some on my cheeks. I love blush, so I can't go without. It's a lip liner I'm gonna go in with. I still gotta do mascara. I'm looking at it right here. This is the Mellow Cosmetics. I have the teeniest bit. I'm trying to pan it. Like it's not in a project, but I'm trying to use it up. Because of the whole glossy, I'm going to use Mer because of MAC. I want to just put gloss, but I think the Mer will make it look nice. I'm going to use my um, Eye Method Lip Plumper. I can't find the one that's in my project and my other one's downstairs. So for gloss, I'm using a lip plumper. This is in my um, lip service project pan. Right here are the lips are pretty nude and glossy. And like I said, I am starting to sweat. I'm gonna use this CoverGirl Clean Matte Foundation. Mascara. So I have this primer. It's the Luna Magic. I got it a long time ago, I think, in Bossy Charm. And it's Vava Pink. Is the primer, and it has like pink. It smells like weird. Like I got it. It smells weird when I got it. It's very like earthy. And yeah, so I'm trying to use that up. And then I have my Maybelline Sky High Mascara, which I like. I just don't like how flexy this brush is because I feel like I mess up more. I get it on my eyelids. Let me use a mirror. For the look I hope you guys enjoyed this video I enjoyed making it this was fun um, yeah so 2000s was more about music and working not makeup for me but I really did enjoy this oh and I did bring a shimmer because when I worked at Sprint we would meet once a week downtown no it's off of Overland off the 110 I think at the there was a big um, a big building we would all meet at and 
there was this one girl that was a sales rep also and she would use the roller ball like glitter and the guys would make fun of her which was sad but she would wear glitter like all over her face she was so cute though and she her day job was like i think she was worked at albertson's in the deli but um she always had glitter i'm gonna put glitter because that reminds me of her and good memories of us all you know clowning on each other and stuff at work I was really shy, I didn't really do any of that, but I laughed along with it, you know, just good fun. But we all like kinda. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you guys go check out the other ladies down below. Um, yeah, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.